the objective within this lesson is to multiply non-unit fractions by non-unit fractions. Here we have two-thirds of three-fourths. This problem is different than the ones we were doing yesterday and the day before yesterday in that both of these are non-unit fractions. Yesterday we had at least one unit fraction. What is one-third of three-fourths? One-third of three-fourths is equal to three-twelfths, which I can reduce and simplify into one-fourth. If one-third of three-fourths is one-fourth, then two-thirds of three-fourths would be what? Right, two-fourths. And can you name two-fourths using halves? Right, it would be equal to one-half. Let's draw a rectangular fraction model to show our the product and, think, and our thinking. Two-thirds of three-fourths. So we'll draw three-fourths first. And then two-thirds of that. You notice that two-thirds of three-fourths is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six twelfths, which does equal one-half. And it show a little bit more work. Let's solve two-thirds of two-thirds by drawing a rectangular fraction model, and then we'll write a multiplication sentence. Two-thirds times two-thirds. There's two-thirds. And then another two-thirds. Two-thirds of two-thirds is one, two, three, four. Here we have seven ninths of three sevenths. What would this look like if we drew a rectangular fraction model for it? We'd have to draw three sevenths first and then split the sevenths into ninths. It's not really practical to draw a rectangular fraction model for a problem like this because the units are so small. So let's solve it using multiplication. Does simplify down to one third. So that's method one. Here's method two. Seven cancels, seven cancels to become one, three cancels to become one, and nine cancels to become three. And it does simplify back down to one third when we do our work. All right, it's your turn to try. Three tenths times five ninths. Make sure you wrote your answer into simplest form. I need to divide it by 5. 18 
17. Three tenths of five ninths is one six. Here's another one for you to try. This time use method two with canceling as you're working through the problem. Fifteen cancels to become three, five becomes one, four cancels to become one, eight cancels to become two. So you have one times one over two times three, which equals one six. Five eighths times four fifteenths equals one six. Compare your work. Nigel completes three sevenths of his homework immediately after school and one fourth of the remaining before supper. He finishes the rest after dessert. What fraction of his work did he finish after dessert? Let's draw a tape diagram, and we'll label it total homework. Right after school, he finishes three-sevenths of the homework. So let's divide this into sevenths. Completes after school. He finishes one fourth of the remaining before supper. One fourth of seven, so he finishes another seventh before supper. Finishes the remaining after dessert. And what is that? Looks like it's three sevenths. Finishes three fourths of four sevenths. By my picture, it looks like I can read off that it's three sevenths. Writing a multiplication sentence three fourths times four sevenths. fraction of homework that Nigel finishes immediately after school is three sevenths here. He finishes another se seventh before supper, which was one fourth of the remaining, one fourth of four sevenths. And then we have three fourths of four sevenths this is the one that he finishes after dessert, which is also equal to three sevenths.